All right, all right, all right. Good morning, world. It's your girl, Dre Day, uh, sitting out in front of my job. I believe that's one of my coworkers that's going past me, as a matter of fact. Um, well, good morning. I hope you guys are having a great, blessed morning that you're up or whatever time you're watching this. If you're watching it in the middle of the day, that you've been having a great day. And if you're watching it at night, I hope that you have had a great day. So, you know, I hope wherever you are in life, wherever you are in the world, things are going good for you. Now, we are here this morning to discuss the merits of the show Paternity Court. <laughs> Paternity Court is probably one of my guilty pleasures. Uh, I have watched a metric crap ton of Paternity Court um, and it drives the people around me crazy because I actually listen to it. I hook my phone up to it and have it playing in the car when people are riding with me. Um, so I, you know, I just personally think that it's, you know, it's, it's a glimpse into other people's lives. All that being said, I want to discuss this particular episode that I saw. I just listened to it, watched it, whatever on the way to work. Uh, I have about a 45 minute commute so I can get about three episodes in off of, uh, off of YouTube. So this particular case, there was a couple, <clears throat> excuse me, there was a couple that was engaged. They had a baby. Uh, there was some complications in understanding where the child was conceived uh, because she was given two wildly different um, due dates. So say one due date when she first went to the doctor was say in January. And then the next due date when she went back to the doctor was in March. So, you know, that's a problem. If you go to the doctor at first and they say, oh, your baby's going to be born in January. And then you go back and they're like, no, your baby's going to be born in March. We made a mistake. So it was a situation like that. And because of the the my hands are ashy because of the time difference, then she under she was, you know, I guess woman enough or honest enough to say, well, if the baby is born due in January, then this is so-and-so's baby. But if the baby's due in March, this is so-and-so's baby. So she was very honest with the guys, um, with the men. Um, and one of the guys decides to pursue a relationship with her and ends up falling in love with her and they get engaged. This is the guy that was there for the paternity test. Now, this child is born. The child was born prematurely. The child um, doctors say, yes, this child is premature, but we can't tell you if the child is one month premature or two months premature. So here you are. You've got a baby that had two different due dates and then is born premature, but we can't tell by how much premature. OK, which I thought was odd because I thought developmental stages would kind of tell you that. But neither here nor there. <clears throat> I'm not a doctor, so I don't know. So moving on, um, the the guy in the in the case, he's like, yes, I've fallen in love with her. Yes, I want to marry her regardless of what the results say. I am going to marry this woman. I am going to raise this child. This child has my name. There it is. So my question is, why be on the show? If it's a possibility that this child is yours, you are determined to marry this woman. You are determined to take care of this child to the point that you gave this child your name. This child is like a junior or the third or something. If you are that determined to be in this woman and this child's life, why come to the show? I understand they probably pay you like $500 to be on the show because that was, you know, back in the day, I wanted to go on Mari Povich with my son's father. And I tried to convince him several times. I was like, they're going to give us money. And then when it proves that you're the father, when, you know, Mari makes the big announcement, I'm going to run to the back and I'm going to roll around on the floor and we're going to be on TV. And then forever we'll have this big laugh about that particular show. You know, it's a game and he just never would go. So I understand the financial aspect of going on these shows. But just in reality, like 
why would you take on that whole responsibility as a man taking on the responsibility of a fiance, this child, this child that you are going to raise and claim as yours anyway, and still go and have a DNA test done? I feel in my heart of hearts. And I'm and let me just be clear, I am a huge advocate of DNA tests when a child is first born. I 100 percent believe in that. I think that's something that should be implemented across the board because I don't think that child support laws are fair in this country, especially in my state. My state is the worst but <laughs> as far as child support, uh, as far as child support laws go when where the man is concerned and I understand that the children have to be cared for one way or the other but you as a man as a woman I would want I know that my child is mine when they when that child comes out of me I know for a fact this baby is mine I would like for I I I would want if I was a man, I would want that same surety. And that's what a DNA test does. So I understand that aspect. But what I don't understand is if I'm going to commit to raising this child, I'm going to commit to being with this woman. Why would I even want that knowledge in my mind? Um, so that's the question that I have for you guys out there, you know, and, and even women, women, y'all can chime, chime in too. let me know what you're thinking let me know what you're thinking. Let me know, you know, just kind of what your thoughts are on the whole process about finding out, you know, because I do think it's important for you to know who you are, where you come from. I believe that. But I also think that should be something that should be discussed, especially if you're going to take that responsibility and just because I feel like this is how I feel. This is where I was going with this. That child, it ended up that the child wasn't his, okay? That child not being his, I feel like will be used as leverage in the future. As a get out of jail free card, as a reason why I don't want to be with you anymore, as a reason why I'm not paying attention to this child or I'm starting to neglect this child in any way, shape, form or fashion. I feel like having that information in his hand will that'll be a bargaining chip later on and it's something about that that feels so grimy and I, I mean I could I could be wrong I'm sure that there are people out there in the world that disagree with me and feel like I'm wrong but I, I feel like I feel like that information even though today or at the at the time that that episode was recorded <sighs> that yes he felt like he could be in that relationship, even knowing that that child was not his and he wanted that relationship. He wanted the relationship with her. He wanted the relationship with the child. He was fully committed to raising that child. But then putting that information in your hand, it, that's going to turn the tide. And that child is the one that's going to lose out. So I'm sure there are people out there that disagree with me. I'm sure there are people out there that agree with me. Uh, put your comments, you know, make, put your comments in the comments. Let me know what you're thinking, where your mind is. Uh, if you have had any experience with this, women and men, you know, tell us your stories and let us know what you think. I only have one child. I knew who my child's father was. You know, that was a no brainer. Like I said, I wanted to go on Mari. And when they announced the child was his, I wanted to be able to run off stage and roll around on the floor. It was going to be big fun for me. But, <clears throat> you know, for everybody else out there. Just let me know what you're thinking about this subject and, and what you think about DNA test immediately after birth. You know, just how do you feel like that would change the game as far as child support goes? And how would you feel women out there? How would you feel if you were having a baby and, you know, your man came to you and was like, well, I want a DNA test. And you know for a fact that he's the only person that you've been with and, <laughs> you know, how would you feel about that? I know how I would feel. It wouldn't bother me any. Matter of fact, I would think that that was a smart move on his part. But y'all let me know what y'all think. I hope you guys have a great day. I hope you've had a great day. And I hope y'all get some good rest tonight. Peace.